Why did the tree go to the dentist? To get a root canal. Now that we've branched out to humor, let's dig into today's topic, crown shyness. It's a fascinating phenomenon where trees play the ultimate game of keep away. Stick around to find out why trees, unlike us, prefer to keep their distance. Ever noticed how some trees seem to be avoiding each other, creating a beautiful mosaic pattern in the sky? That's crown shyness for you. Now, this isn't your typical case of introverted flora. Crown shyness is a captivating natural phenomenon observed in certain tree canopies. Picture this, upper branches of trees like dancers in a grand ballroom, elegantly avoiding any touch or overlap with their neighbors. The result? A visually striking pattern in the forest canopy, characterized by gaps or channels that look like rivers of sky flowing between the crowns of individual trees. But the question that has scientists scratching their heads is, why does this happen? Is it a result of trees competing for sunlight or perhaps an ingenious strategy to reduce the risk of damage from wind-induced stress? Or could it be a defense mechanism against pests and diseases? So many theories, so little time, but why would trees do that? Let's explore the different theories. Scientists haven't quite figured out why trees practice social distancing, but they have a few guesses. Let's delve into the three main theories. First up, we have the sunbathing hypothesis. You see, trees, like many of us, enjoy basking in the sun. They need sunlight for photosynthesis, which is basically their food-making process. By keeping their branches from overlapping, each tree gets a clear shot at the sun, maximizing their exposure to that sweet, life-giving light. It's like ensuring everyone has their spot on the beach. Next, there's the wind stress theory. Ever heard of the phrase, it's an ill wind that blows nobody any good? Well, trees seem to take it quite literally. The gaps between their crowns could minimize the risk of branches rubbing against each other during windy conditions, reducing the likelihood of damage or breakage. It's like creating buffer zones to avoid collision in a mosh pit. Finally, we have the insect and disease defense theory. The idea here is that these gaps might limit the spread of pests or pathogens. It's like trees are setting up their own quarantine zones to reduce the risk of infestation or infection within the canopy. They're practicing social distancing before it was cool. So whether it's to catch some rays, avoid a windy situation, or keep bugs at bay, trees seem to have their reasons. Beyond the science, there's an undeniable beauty to crown shyness, and it's not just for the gram. This unique phenomenon doesn't just create breathtaking patterns in the sky, it shapes our entire forest ecosystems. By creating gaps in the canopy, crown shyness allows sunlight to penetrate deeper into the forest, affecting the microclimate and the interplay of species beneath. It's not just a show in the sky, it's a performance that influences the entire symphony of forest life. And let's not forget the aesthetic value. Whether you're a photographer, a nature enthusiast, or just a passerby, the intricate designs of crown shyness can captivate your sight and imagination. So next time you're in a forest, look up. You might just witness this stunning phenomenon of nature where every tree stands apart yet together. Until then, keep branching out your knowledge.